Who's more powerful, Soldier Boy or Homelander? Where does Starlight stand in terms of power? Is she all about controlling electricity or does she really have some untapped superpower which can destroy almost anybody? If you have these questions in your mind, don't worry because today I'm gonna clear up all of these questions. You're welcome where I rank. The powers in the boys. This video is all about what you need to know in order to find out which soup deserves which spot. So let's begin, shall we? Number nine, the deep. Yes, we have the deep. Now ranking the deep in terms of raw power is a bit tricky, but we do know he's a sleaze bag. Besides that, he sure does have some amazing aquatic abilities like superhuman strength and enhanced senses. And he can communicate with fish. I bet he's very popular at aquariums. His effectiveness often takes a hit against land-based threats and even some non-powered humans. His skills meant for underwater breathing become a weakness on land, making him vulnerable to attacks and even choking hazards. Plus they look nasty. Just saying. Deep's true power isn't about his physical strength, but in his position within the Seven. He sure knows how to spin the media game using its charm and good looks to dodge blame and keep his public image intact. But let's not ignore the elephant in the room. His not so great personality, <clears throat> sketchy past, and constant screw ups make it certainly hard for him to boss people around. Heck, bossing. <laughs> he keeps on getting bullied by Homelander most of the time. <laughs> it's funny. On top of that, he's always relying on his manipulative girlfriend to bail him out. Oh boy, he's not an alpha, he's a wuss. Ultimately, Deep's power ranking remains fluid and context dependent. He might overpower a group of civilians with ease, but gets promptly humbled by Homelander or even Starlight. His true strength lies in his ability to navigate the PR game and leverage his public image. So basically, he's useless. Moving on to number eight, A-Train. A-Train, the fastest man alive, more like the fastest jerk alive. This dude's got speed like a bullet train, sure, but his heart runs on spoiled milk and it's nasty. Oh yeah, and he runs through other people too. Yeah, remember Robin, Yowch. He talks big, boasts about powers and records and sponsors, but folds faster than a cheap suit stuffed in a paper bag when things get real. His powers are top notch, no doubt, but his head's kinda stuck in the clouds, blinded by fame and compound V, yeah. So powerhouse, sure, top dog, no. A Train's just a runaway train with no brakes heading straight for a crash. While A Train's undeniable physical power secures him a spot in the power rankings, his uh, moral failings and questionable methods leave him teetering on the edge of true superpowered legitimacy. He's a cautionary tale of unchecked power and a stark reminder that speed without responsibility can leave a bloody trail of destruction. Ultimately, A Train's ranking is as volatile as his personality, forever caught between wild displays of velocity and the ethical wreckage he leaves behind. Number seven, Kimiko might not be the flashiest soup in the bowl but her savagery in a fight and raw emotional core earn her a higher spot in the rankings. Sure, she can't shoot lasers or fly, but she's got super strength that puts most soups to shame. Remember the scene where she killed them Russians? Oh, it's so good. Brutal. Plus her agility is off the charts. Girl can dodge bullets like they're slow-mo nerf darts. And don't even get me started on her claws. Those things can tread metal like it's butter. While lacking traditional superpowers, her compound V-fueled superhuman strength, agility, and regenerative abilities are no joke. Like imagine a feral wolverine with the fighting instincts of a seasoned MMA fighter tearing through goons with brutality. Oh, that sounds like wolverine. I meant to say Kimiko. Yes, yeah, Ki Kimiko. Right, right, right. But anyways, Kimiko's true power lies beyond the physical thing. Her resilience in the face of unimaginable trauma and her blossoming capacity for love and friendship make her a force of nature in her own right. Number six, Starlight. Yes, Starlight might not be the strongest superhero in the boys, but she's definitely one of the toughest. Sure, she can shoot sparkly beams from her hand, but what really makes her shine is her heart. In a world corrupted by corporate greed and superhero egos, Starlight stands as a beacon of hope, oh, inspiring the public and challenging the status quo. Unlike most of the messed up heroes in the seven, Starlight actually cares about using her powers for good, whoa. She stands up for what's right, even when it means going against her own team. Well, so-called team. I'm talking about the seven here. She's also got the smarts to figure out Vault's dirty secrets and the guts to fight back. Even though, yeah, she takes a beating sometimes, Starlight never gives up. Despite facing constant disillusionment and brutal realities, she refuses to give up on her dream of making a difference. While Starlight might not be at the top of the power rankings in terms of raw physical power, her influence and her ability to inspire hope make her a formidable force for good. She's a testament to the fact that true power comes in many forms and that even the smallest light can shine the brightest in the darkest of times. Yes, I just quoted Dumbledore. Ha ha ha! Moving on. Queen Maeve. In the brutal world of the boys, where superpowers blur the lines between hero and villain, Queen Maeve occupies a complex space. Though possessing immense strength and vulnerability and flight, her true power lies in her cunning intellect and strategic thinking. It was her plan to supply Compound V to Butcher. Physically, Queen Maeve is a force to be reckoned with. She's kind of like the Wonder Woman of the boys. You know what I mean? At least that's how I kind of think of her. Her superhuman strength allows her to toss cars like frisbees and punch through concrete walls. Her invulnerability makes her nearly impervious to harm, able to withstand blows from Black Noir and brutal beatings from Homelander. But I will say Maeve's true strength lies in her mind. She's a master manipulator and a tactician, and uses her sharp wit and understanding of people to gain an edge 
over others. She's beauty with power and brain. See what I mean? Wonder Woman, but less patriotic. However, I will say Maeve's power is constantly hampered by her internal conflict. Haunted by past trauma and disillusioned with the corruption of the superhero industry, she's reluctant to unleash her full potential. Oh no! This moral ambiguity makes her a fascinating character, constantly teetering between playing the dutiful hero and using her own power for her own ends. Whether she'll ultimately succumb to the darkness or emerge as a true hero remains to be seen, but her journey promises to be one of the most captivating in the boys. Number four, Victoria Newman. Ooh, bummer. Yes, good old Victoria. All right, so Victoria Newman in the boys, she's like this big shot congresswoman rides, but don't let the political gig fool you. She's got some serious superpowers up her sleeve. Turns out she's a secret soup with the ability to blow people's heads off. Crazy, huh? She acts all official and stuff, but behind the scenes, she's popping heads like it's no big deal. Oh, that sounded dirty. Moving on. And nobody sees it coming because she plays the political game like a pro. So while she might not be flexing her muscles all the time, Victoria Newman's got this lethal power that makes her a real force to reckon with. That superpower combined with a very well-planned political influence is the reason we place her this high. Moving up, Juiced Billy Butcher. Yes, by Juiced Billy Butcher, I mean Butcher under the influence of Compound V. He turns into an extremely powerful superhero when he takes Compound V. That means he gains superhuman strength and toughness, and he can shoot lasers from his eyes. Just like Homelander, Butcher is Homelander Part 2 when he is high on Compound V. Combine this with his willing to sacrifice everything attitude to bring down Homelander and the corrupt Vault Corporation, he becomes a dangerous enemy, one who can outsmart, outmaneuver, and even overpower soups when fueled by his righteous rage. Billy can match Homelander in combat and accomplish most of the tasks that the Seven's leader can perform except flying. His sole weakness is his lack of training and experience with his abilities. If he makes it through more doses of Compound V, he might get even stronger. Number 2, Soldier Boy. Now he's the real deal I'm talking top to no joke he's been around forever and is the first ever super soldier he's basically a rated R version of Captain America his combat skills and super enhanced strength make him a force to be reckoned with plus he is a battle-hearted warrior so the experience he has is unmatched sure he might have this patriotic thing going on but when it comes down to power aspect he's a no-nonsense fighter who can throw down with anybody including Homelander soldier boy's got the power experience and guts to back up his big mouth and he's sitting pretty at the number two spot and he's not letting anyone forget it number one Homelander the star spangled menace of the boys reigns supreme in terms of raw power he's got crazy strength shoots lasers from his eyes breathes fire i know you can't really hurt the guy he's like a walking deity level wrecking ball plus he can fly so he can always watch over everything and scare anyone who messes with him the guy's got super senses too sees through walls smells anything and can hear stuff from like a kilometer away Oh my gosh. But what really makes Homelander a big deal isn't just his muscles and powers. He's like a master at controlling the story. He makes himself look like this hero to the public while doing some pretty messed up stuff behind the scenes. He's got Vought International, the big superhero company wrapped around his finger, giving him access to all the goodies and the power to shut up anyone who crosses him. But here's the catch. Homelander's own ego is his kryptonite. He's obsessed with being adored and can't handle anyone dissing him. That makes him easy to manipulate. And when he loses it, oh boy, the violent side comes out, showing he's more monster than human. Even though Homelander is the big shot in the boys, his own issues keeps him on shaky ground. Being the top dog isn't as secure as it seems, making him a seriously complicated and unpredictable guy, which it means he's terrifying. So there you go, that was my ranking. If you disagree with it, let me know down in the comments below. Who would you put in what spot and why? Also, if you have any questions, I would love to know them. Make sure to drop them down below in the comment section and I will reply as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.